Next to League One, relegation came hard for the city of Norwich in the third tier of English football for the first time in almost 50 years. With 12 new signings, more than 18,000 season ticket holders. No wonder majority shareholder Delia Smith was looking forward to the new campaign. But from the very start against Colchester, it became apparent that defensive frailties, which cost them their championship place, remain a big, big problem. Kevin Lisby, the happy recipient, after just 10 minutes. If that was a shock for Norwich fans, nothing could have prepared them for what was to follow. Clive Platt made it two, three minutes later. And when Platt scored the third on 19 minutes, the disbelief around Carr Road started to turn to anger. Norwich are promotion favourites with most bookmakers, and defeat would have been a surprise, but no one expected this. Nor David Fox's brilliant free kick. 4-0 after only 22 minutes. It was too much for some fans to bear. Those came on and threw season tickets at Brian Gunn, the manager. Being a club legend counts for nothing when you're being ripped to shreds. Lisby, a former Ipswich player who's also played for Norwich on loan, rubs salt into the wounds, making it five before half-time. With the game just about over, Norwich manager Gunn threw on Cody McDonald, the former Essex scaffolder, did his best to lighten the mood, scoring on 72 minutes. But even that couldn't raise Norwich. It took only another three minutes for David Perkins to score Colchester's sixth. Completing one of the most extraordinary opening day scorelines, Scott Vernon in stoppage time. The Colchester fans in ecstasy, they were, after all, the only ones left in the stadium. Norwich's heaviest home defeat ever.